everybody! Seven o'clock, I am home from work. I am making more of my red raspberry leaf tea. I'm finishing the last of my first brew. So, brewing some more. Gotta be drinking that every single day. Josh got off of work at five, so he was off an hour before me. Luckily, his family did today what they did for me yesterday, and they came and picked him up. So he just left the car for me and I came home at six. Um, and now Josh is actually gone. He ran to Buca de Beppo. They ordered food to go. And then we're just gonna go eat it over at his mom's place. So that is what we're doing for dinner tonight. Um, I don't know what else is in our plans. One more work day tomorrow before a day off. And then Josh and I have the day off together, which is super exciting. I'm hoping that on Friday we can go do some fun stuff with his aunt and uncle and cousins. So, that'll be fun. Ali, do you have anything to say? Ali, I love you. It's pool time. <laughs> it's pool time? We're all done with the pool. Kaylee soaked her feet in there, but I got all the way in. What do you have to say for yourself? I soaked my big fat old feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy the pool is back up and running. Take a look. Oh, Doesn't it look brand new? Is this for your vlog? Wait, it's like a brand new, it's like brand new water right there. <laughs> See what Ollie's doing, spy on her. Look at that face. Oh. <laughs> Puppy! Hi! My coworker Suzette, she just texted me and she said her daughter, who Anu is three? I think it was probably when um, we were at work today, she found scissors and cut her own hair. I guess in certain spots, very, very short. And she had really beautiful curly hair. Um, so Suzette texted me and she was said, that she was really upset. And I totally understand that because uh, have you ever seen the little girls, you know, where they have they like little bangs bang and they up. chop their bangs and they're like, just like frizz balls, just, <laughs> you know. Um, but I was just thinking, oh my gosh, that's gonna be us. I just know, like. No! She, Scout better not ever cut her I've hair off. I've never known a little girl that doesn't do that. Like, I feel like girls go through the stage where they see, like, you see other people doing things, you watch a show, and girls are cutting hair or doing something, and they like to, whatever. Um, so luckily, hair grows back, but I just thought, oh my gosh, I know we're gonna have a scout moment where she trims her hair, and it's always the bangs. It's like the first thing they're like, they see it, and they're like, eh, and they cut it off. <laughs> I don't think I ever cut my hair. Did you cut your hair on her? I don't think I did. But you guys tell us in the comments if you ever did or if your kids ever did. I told Suzette to make sure, even though I know she's upset about it, to make sure she takes pictures of it so that when Anu goes on her prom, she can definitely show <laughs> her prom date what Anu did or her <laughs> wedding or, you know, it's like, it's like those funny things. And I know one day it's going to be in a scrapbook or something like that. And she's going to say, oh, I can't believe, you know, do you remember when I cut my hair? And you know, like it's gonna be like one of those things. Don't worry, it'll grow back. This is just a funny, funny moment. Even though now you take her in public, everybody's gonna uh -huh. ask, what happened to her hair? That's how you gotta keep your spirits high, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's only you, you know, that's like a thing to live by, I think. It's only you, like I used to suffer from stress, like bad. Like through high school and college, I was a very, I got stressed really easily, and it was just detrimental. Even to my health, I would say. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just feel sick. Yeah. So, I think something that I've learned as an adult, or just like living with Kaylee, is like trying to always think in long term. Or think of like a big picture rather than just today. Deciding to go to culinary school, and then um, stopping that, and then deciding to get my master's, and then stopping that. Those are two things. And I cannot tell you how stressed I was. I was sick over it, like very sick over it. And now it's amazing for me now to see how glad I am that I didn't do those two things. But tons of great things happened in the process of moving towards those. And so, um, you know, now I try to think long term. 
you know, or just like a big picture. It was a long day. I had to get up really, not really, I hate to say really early because I know some of you go to work at like 7 in the morning and I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'd be working 9 o'clock is early for us. At 9 o'clock and I was like, how am I going to make it? <laughs> well, we go to bed so late. Yeah. So. We're not really like morning people. I don't like to get up in the morning. We're night owls. I had to do, it was kind of a fun thing. Um, it was called toddler time. So this is like perfect for us. Um, not that we're going to give birth to a toddler, but um, <laughs> basically our company sponsored this event that happens at our mall and people bring their toddlers. I work at a framing shop and so what we did is we printed out a whole bunch of Father's Day um, coloring book pages and then we had mats. And if you don't know what a mat is, you look it up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't even want to explain it right now. Come here. This is the matting. Right here. Anyways. Uh, we put mats on them. So uh, um, little kids would color and then they come up and we put a matting on it and then they could take it home and put it in their frame or they could go buy a frame. So in a way, it's a way to, um, it's like a community thing. Like we like to do that. And then also it's a great way to advertise. You know how it is with business stuff. It was really cool seeing all these little kids and how excited they were over like taking a blue crayon and just like making a big line on their paper and then they brought it up like it was the greatest thing ever. But it's like now that we're having a baby, it's like a total different mindset. It's like weird to me to think next year, like she is going to be close to one years old and it's going to be a Father's Day. It's hard to imagine what it's like to, ex to get a piece of paper with crayon scribbled on it and that means something. So I'm very interested in the feeling that I'll get when Scout makes me something to put on my desk or to put on the fridge. Or, I so. know. Isn't that cool? That's exciting. Little scribbles will become important to us. Yeah. That's funny. I know, isn't that weird? <laughs> She's going to be like the most talented little kid in the world. I'm thinking like child prodigy, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if she'll start with crayons, probably like acrylics or oils. So. <laughs> Anyways, so that was kind of a cool day, even though I had to get up early. Um, Got to do something a little bit different. For some reason, um, I like to ramble. You like to ramble? Well, I have all these ideas that I um, have, you know, all day long. And then when I start talking about them, I'll start thinking of the other ideas that I had. So then it's like one thing after another after another. And so, um, sorry. I like your ramblings. Kaylee's pouring her labor tea. Doesn't put you into labor. That was pretty good. It doesn't taste like raspberry though. No, not at all. Well, that's a bum. Taste some. I I'm don't. Gonna make Josh taste some. I don't want to go into labor, and I don't need to fortify Josh, my uterus. Josh, it will make you. It. They say if men drink this, it makes them even more fertile. And Kelly thinks that's like a good thing right now. <laughs> it doesn't matter right now. I don't want twins. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna make Josh try this. Great. Drink it. It's good. It tastes like iced tea. I'm having contractions. <laughs> Isn't it good? Yeah. I think it just tastes like plain tea. My I water like just broke. Maybe I should drink a little more of this extra strength tea. I let it brew for a long time. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and say goodnight. Goodnight. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. We're on our way to 600. Josh is showing off his muscles oh, for some sorry, reason. Oh, I didn't know you were watching. Oh. Tell them when you'll see him. Um, next week sometime. Should I'll see it? you tomorrow. The beads are made out of like rubber. Like, Push do you the see how they can bend? And so it's like a little chewy.